So it's another day, another Star Trek video. As always, I'm Al, this is the Geek In Review. So let's get to it. So yeah, safe to say there's quite a few Easter eggs in Star Trek Picard. I mean, my God, the opening scene alone, I'm not going to get into that. I want to talk about one or two specific Easter eggs that popped up in, well, a specific scene in the first episode that you might not have noticed. Now, at the end of Star Trek Prodigy, I did make a video about what could be happening with Janeway's new ship, the Voyager A, because that was heavily teased. And in the first episode of Picard, we sort of get my theory confirmed, but then we also sort of don't as well. So you've probably seen the new episode of Picard, and you might have even seen my review of it. If you haven't, there'll be a link at the end of this video. A ton of Easter eggs in this episode, and a ton of questions raised as well. What's going on with Troy and Riker? What's going on with Worf? What's going on with Rafi? We'll need to wait for all that. But there was answers to some questions that we as fans have had, and I'm talking about legacy ships. Maybe sort of old ones, maybe sort of new ones, I'll get to that in a minute. So I want to talk about one specific scene with two very big easter eggs, and that's when Rafi's sort of searching for what's going on with the Red Lady, and she discovers that it's the statue of Rachel Garrett aboard the La Serena. Now, if you look at the top two hand corners of the frame, you will see that it does mention the Voyager A, which looks like a Pathfinder class, and then you notice some information about the Enterprise F as well. So, first of all, I've already made a video on Voyager, but it wasn't the Voyager B, it was what the Voyager A could look like. At the end of Star Trek Prodigy, it was heavily teased that we're going to see a Voyager A in Season 2. But Prodigy is set about 20 years or so before Picard, so I guess the A isn't really around that long. Because this ship is, by the looks of it, a Pathfinder class and a new Voyager B. And on the other side of the screen, you do see some information about the Enterprise F which it says is getting slated for early decommissioning and that raises a lot of questions because the E wasn't around that long and by the looks of it the F is going to be deliberately terminated so maybe it's some sort of design issue that put some sort of prototype drive on board like the spore drive that doesn't work so instead of refitting it they're just coming up with a new design and calling a new ship Enterprise but yeah that's a very very short life when you think about it between the Enterprise E at the end of Nemesis and then the F just being around for a few years. So that does raise the question of will the Enterprise G show up or will it get teased at least and will that be a backdoor to a new spin-off show that fans are going to remember? Now we're sort of firmly back in the TNG timeline and vibe. Probably not. I mean the G might get hinted at at least in some sort of fan service but I don't see it being a set up for any new show. Terry Metalis, the runner of Picard, has currently said he's not working on any active Star Trek projects. But as always, we're going to have to wait and see. But yeah, one small shot with a lot of ship info. So it does raise a few questions about what Janeway's ship is going to be, the Voyager A in the next season of Prodigy. I think it's going to be like some sort of upgrade from the Intrepid class. But I want to hear what some of your ideas are for the Voyager A, the Voyager B, and what's going on with the Enterprise F. Let me know in the comments below, or you can reach out to me on Twitter at The Geeks Reviews. If you've made it this far, hit subscribe and here's a link to more Star Trek videos. As always, I'm Al. Thanks for watching.